backdrop that you want? Uh, for now, <laughs> sure. I mean, that's... We just need a giant <laughs> picture of Eva. And a bunch of pop figures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's up, guys? So, uh, this is the Vegas video. Uh, so I actually went off to, uh, to Vegas for about a week, actually. It was all for work. I finally did it, I guess. Finally went to Vegas for a conference for, for work. I never had a reason to do it. Uh, but this one was specifically for the products that I'm selling or, you know, products that I, I, I do services for. Um, and I'll get into that in a whole other video. I've actually changed jobs, which allowed me to do stuff like this. But uh, so it's kind of a cool idea. Um, finally went to Vegas on a non-vacation and literally did not do anything vacation worthy. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll show you some video, of course, I mean, hopefully there's some B-roll all through this thing. But really, I just got to do business in Vegas. And, like, I went to the Strip one time, and I literally spent, I think, probably like three hours. It, it felt like an hour, just because I went straight to Paris, you know, like the little balloon and the Eiffel Tower and all that. Went straight to Paris, and we went through the back doors. So we didn't really get to experience it from the front. We came out of the front. Um, and then we walked out to look at the Bellagio and see all the fountains. Well, the fountains weren't going. And then I was like, well, I guess we'll walk through the Bellagio and see what's going on there. And nothing was open. So I was like, this doesn't even feel like Vegas at all. And then we came out and I was like, well, I might as well do the thing I came here to do. And I went to Taco Bell. So. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, my my usual. Did you, did <laughs> I, you get I videos even, of Taco Bell in there? No, but it, it was too loud. Like literally, it was just I just wanted to leave. So it, it was it was bumping. I mean, Taco Bell Cantina. Y'all should try it out. Um, everything was obviously. I didn't make it through the whole week with the challenge. So I'm actually starting over. That's a whole nother subject. I think we talked about that. I actually drank a little bit. Didn't like it anymore. And then went to this Taco Bell, and that's like the only thing that's like different about this Taco Bell is like the loud music. It makes me sound so old. So it's the music, and then also um, like these big looking drink machines, really the drink machine's small. Um, but everything's filled with vodka, I'm not a vodka person. So I was like, I've already had this averse feeling towards alcohol and then that. So um, yeah, di didn't even drink much in Vegas. Didn't really get to experience the strip. So literally just Sounds like a grumpy old man. I know. I don't know. I, I went for business. Went to bed at eight. Yeah. There's a bunch of kids out. We we didn't go to. Oh, they were loud. We did go to bed at ten one night in Vegas. We went to bed at ten. So. It's exactly what I would have done. I know. I'm ready for bed at that time. Yeah, I, I had a nice dinner at a little Italian restaurant one night. Um, got to drive or you know be in a self-driving car. I couldn't actually do video of any kind. I took some pictures. They, let me take some pictures. Mm -mm. Um, it's nowhere near ready. So if y'all are afraid of that kind of stuff, it's not happening anytime soon. Literally, they'd have to have a, so much manpower to map out every single road and every single aspect of the road. Uh, they, they can only do a few downtown streets and that was it for Vegas. And it's just this trial thing. So, so I actually just finished uh, taking a self-driving car. That's what that all was. Uh, I couldn't actually take a video in there, but um, I was able to at least take some photos, uh, but it's actually really neat. Those things are uh, brand new. It's a BMW and uh, they can drive on their own, but right now they're still testing. So they're actually doing manual. Uh, so everything they have is it's manual mode whenever they take off. And then it's completely self-driving after the fact. Uh, right now they're having to, I guess, map out things before they officially uh, release it to the public. Um, what they're going to do is have the driver seats are going to be facing the rear uh, so that they can fit more people in there instead of having a driver. So they're taking the, the steering wheel completely out, but just pretty cool. It doesn't sound like it's going anywhere. Um, I don't know. That's a whole other thing. Uh, but Vegas was fun. I mean, for what it was, we, we, like everyone, like I, I did, okay, there was one thing I got to do that was really Vegas, um, I guess. Again, I've only been to Vegas twice, and one time was for this. Uh, but we actually go to got to go to a penthouse party. Um, it was actually kind of like um, one of the products. It was called Grav or something. They kept calling it the Grav Party. And so we got to go to the Sahara uh, penthouse. And it was this cool little penthouse. And like right when you get there, it says, I guess this is the place or something like that on the wall in big lights. And so then we just went in, and uh, we were all wearing jackets, and we're too hot, and it was just too crowded. 
Again, it sounds old. I, I sound like I'm old. <laughs> so I just went straight to the, Super old the outdoor now. area, and there's this big platform. And well, I mean, the, we we simplified life for yeah. a reason. Yeah, we just don't want to be near anybody. We're not really about that kind of stuff. I guess it works out for the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to be near, near anybody. So um, I don't know. <laughs> I got there and like I walked out into the patio, and they're like, "Oh, there's not even a pool." I was like, "I mean, it's still pretty cool." It's like yeah. I'm actually able to look over the stratosphere thing. It was I don't know. So, yeah, yeah, I did Vegas. I don't know. Again? Yeah. First time was more fun though, right? Uh, oh, yeah. A couple years yeah, ago. Even just that. Um, I did do some gambling. Um, I always do it in a very specific way. You go to the players club, so you always have to go to a new casino. Um, I went to an off-strip casino, so in other words, no flashy stuff. It was just some machines and a couple tables and stuff, if y'all are into gambling. Um, so I just go to the players club. Um, so I got there, and they handed me this bottle of rum obviously not drinking at this point and so I was like well this is a bad start and so I kind of like just put that in my pocket and like was just walking around with this bottle like they don't normally How hand you the bottle it was the smaller B Bacardi or something. I don't know, some kind of rum pretty big yeah it was like it was big you they just give you a free bottle uh I think someone bought it for me I think someone won something and then they just did the whole thing where it's like hey you, you want something and I was like uh what is it and then they hand me a bottle so it was <laughs> That was nice. I was I already <laughs> felt like a winner just getting there. So, um, but yeah, you get, you do the players club. You get your little points. You go and turn those points into actual cash at slot machines, and then you take that and then just put it in roulette or whatever you like to play. But that's what I do. So I literally go in with zero money and turn it into something. So I came back with two hundred dollars and we spent it in like one day at Target. Mm -hmm. It was literally one day at Target. We bought Eva a new jumper and walker. Yeah. Totally worth it. So that's why you go to Vegas. Totally worth you it. You get your money back, and then you and go you spend some... for your kids for stuff. Yeah. That's what we do now. Yeah, that's what we do. I go on business trips. Business. Business. Yeah, but it was good. It was actually really good for me. Um, like, a, a lot of productivity on the business side. Like, But I did come back with gifts for... <laughs> the wife and the child. Cold. I came back with a cold. But we're fine. Um, yeah, everyone's we got, fine. But... Eva, it lasted one day for Eva. Yeah. Like one it Lasted two days day. for me. Lasted one day for her. I Crazy. didn't really notice it with you, but you felt something. I'm so, tough. What can I say? Yeah, whatever. So, I don't know. But then, now someone else is sick in the office. I don't know. It's, it's just one of the... Everyone seems it's to be sick right now. It's the season. I think yeah, all the weather changing, the too. the corona. Here. No. I think all the weather changing here has been just detrimental for people. I don't know. It's, I feel like anytime the weather changes drastically, which it does every week now, um, people's allergies get really bad or people get cold sinus infections, like yeah. that kind of stuff. So I don't know, but I'm okay now. Yeah. We're, we seem I'm to be okay right. now. So we're just trying to stay well. We're taking vitamin D. Um, we're back on the challenge. Vitamin C. So we're working out elderberry, more. Elderberry, like all that good elderberry. stuff. Elderberry. Working out, drinking plenty of water, getting lots of sleep now or as much as we can. Um, so yeah, we're, we're good. Yeah. We're good. But I don't know, no crazy stories except for a Lyft driver that said, uh, I'm not afraid to die whenever I got in the car. And so that was different. Uh, I just told him I have a family. <laughs> Did he just randomly? Uh, it was the second time we got in the car. Cause we actually, he dropped us off somewhere. We didn't really talk much. And then I got back in the car by myself. Um, and cause Jeremy was running to grab some samples for someone else, like from like a dispensary. Cause we were in CBD. And so he's grabbing CBD samples from a dispensary, which I thought was weird. I thought, I don't know. I guess they said they have CBD. Either way, uh, he was running an errand for somebody. I was just in the car, um, and then, or I got back in the car, and the guy was like, "I'm not afraid to die." And he was, I think, he was scrolling, saw the coronavirus stuff. It came out wrong. <laughs> so, um, just like, do you want to die today? I'm still here. He's, <laughs> he is going through a divorce. So I feel bad for the guy. So whatever. But I didn't know that before he said that, or you I would have been, been more like, worried. <laughs> so I'm going to get out of the car yeah. now. So, fun little story there. Uh, I got to go to a, <laughs> do, a... That happened. Yeah, that's a thumbnail. Yeah, penthouse. <laughs> yeah. And penthouse party, I guess. Was, I, I got to see some new products. That's about it. I mean, but it was cool. It was just a product reveal, I guess. I didn't even drink there. I just kind of was there. So, I was just, I was just in a penthouse. Vegas. <laughs> Vegas. I have nothing to add to this conversation. Me and Eva had a really good time at my parents. Uh, it seemed like y'all had a pretty good time. Went to Target a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't go to a single Target this whole trip. <laughs> I didn't go to a Taco Bell, so that's... That was, mm, Taco Bell. Yeah, that, was, that was pretty nice. Yum. I don't know. It's like my little addiction. I don't know. It's Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Yeah. It's so good. 
Even even our own little foods that we make, we put Taco Where's Bell the sauce. Taco so, Bell. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, even there's vegan stuff. Yeah, Taco Bell is Because it's really easy to customize. I don't know. Let's not turn this into an ad for Taco Bell. Because well, they're not I mean, paying us anything. Well, they all could. I mean, we could go to Taco Bell tonight. Maybe. We'll talk about it. Sweet. We'll talk about it. I have plenty of calories that's, left. Yeah, that's that's his trip. Um, our time, we basically did the same thing that we do here, just at my parents' house in Austin. Um, but it's always good to, to visit with him. You know, they, they're just... They love Eva. Who doesn't it's love nice Eva? To be home. Oh, I can't even. Don't get me started. Yeah, I know. Don't get me started on her. She just she'll. We'll do the whole next video about her because she's just the most amazing thing ever. So next video is about the house a little bit. Yeah. A little oh, bit. but you also said that whenever you came back, she was different. She yeah, it was like a, an immediate difference. Like as, well, as soon as she woke up, which I didn't want to wake up yet. I was. I was sick, didn't know I was sick, woke didn't him up tell by her like that exactly. Tapping him on the shoulder. <laughs> I like so, moved her over to him and yeah, just tapped I, him. I got home at like two AM or something like that. Like even my flights were terrible. Like nothing was a party about this whole trip and so but I mean it's done. I I feel pretty accomplished about it. Um I, I did Vegas. Vegas did me. I don't you're know. You're talking about Eva. I know. I am coming back to it right now. And then yeah, then I came back and basically yeah, she's tapped me on the shoulder. And she just seemed to be just more vibrant, like she was almost like communicative, communicative. Yeah, nailed it, nailed it. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, she. But now she's just she just seems more fun. Just every day, she's yeah. like just this new little toy that plays with you. So. Yeah, yeah. It's like I don't know. It seems like she's starting to understand things, and she's wanting to play. My favorite is whenever she wants to laugh. Like you can tell that she wants to laugh, and she wants you to make her laugh. I don't know. Again, we'll do another video about I laugh updates too. on Eva. Because yeah. um, it's just, I could talk for days and days. Yes. But this this video is Vegas. Is there <laughs> anything else you want to add? No, so <laughs> I, I just wanted to kind of like regurgitate it. It's been already a week. Like I came back, I felt terrible. And then I had to like catch up on work. And then we got into the weekend. I forgot what we did over the weekend. I don't even know. This last weekend, we, we did some stuff. And then someone else got sick. And then I had to jump into work mode again so um, obviously just more days getting away from me um, but here's the video here's Vegas here you go look at all these little <laughs> video clips that They're I hopefully done. got off my phone They're already done. I know but uh, I'm saying go back and look at why not it's, <laughs> it's all that I did so I flew there I drove around a bit talked to a lot of people got sick came back Vegas but I do want to go back um, yeah that would be nice to yeah but not, I don't want to take Eva to Vegas. But I don't want to be without her. Yeah, so I guess we're not going to Vegas. We can throw a little Vegas party here. We can just recreate Vegas inside the RV. <laughs> if we had a, like a big YouTube channel, a ton of money, I would love to do just random stuff like that. It's not hard to do. Turning the RV into Vegas. Just like getting... Yeah, but maybe when Eva's just a little bit older and she can comprehend like what we're actually doing. Maybe like... See if she responds to like a little cartoon Vegas scene. And if she does, then yeah, we'll start a little Vegas party for her. Yeah. All right, that's it. Let's we've been playing cards. We're spiraling. Let's go. Yeah, we are spiraling. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, I had fun out there. I don't know. If you've been to Vegas, let us know in the comments what was your favorite part about it. Yeah, and let me know what I should do next time because we are planning on going back for more conferences, more trade shows. Um, I will talk about what I do in more detail because, again, I made a big shift in jobs and I don't think I've talked about it yet. Um, yeah, so I, I was kind of not secretive about it, just didn't want to talk about it because it was a big shift. So well, We um, also had another big shift at the same time, which yeah. was a baby. So. Well, yeah, it was right around the same time. <laughs> and so I'll talk about that another time. Um, So yeah, y'all have fun out there. Bye. <laughs>